A baseline fitness test is a great tool when starting any physical activity program and or class. The test provides a starting point from which the student and teacher can monitor progress throughout the semester. With this information, students in a grade 12 healthy active living course will be able to construct a basic workout plan, accurately measure baseline fitness tests, use correct form for exercises, and understand the benefits of maintaining a healthy active lifestyle. This testing procedure can be adapted for use in any other fitness component of health and physical education across all grade levels. It is important to start each class with a warm-up to get the blood flowing and prevent injury. Warm-ups include both cardiovascular activity and dynamic stretching. This should take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Distribute assessment sheets and have students take their height and weight before splitting off into three groups for strength and flexibility tests. You will need scales and a measuring tape or chart on the wall. The bench press measures muscular strength. Students will use a set weight to perform as many repetitions as possible. Males will use a weight of 95 pounds, females a weight of 45 pounds. It is important to remember proper bench press technique in which students lying on the bench, feet flat to the ground, will bring the bar down to the midline of the chest, pressing back up to full extension of the arms. For safety purposes, all students should have a spotter present. Students will then use the one repetition max equation to determine muscular strength. A teacher may choose to substitute a one minute push-up max test to assess muscular endurance instead. Ensuring proper push-up technique is crucial. Back is to remain straight as the chest is brought to the ground first, through the elbows bending at a 90 degree angle. A teacher may allow the class to attempt modify push-ups in which the knees are placed on the ground. Like the bench press, the leg press also measures muscular strength, but in the lower body. Students will again use a set weight and perform as many repetitions as possible. Males will use a weight of about 210 pounds, females a weight of about 170 pounds. It is important to take note of your leg press machine's starting weight. Remember proper foot placement of approximately shoulder width apart. Students will bring the carriage to a 90 degree bend and extend the legs fully without locking the knees. If your school does not have a leg press machine available, one may choose to administer a one repetition squat test. As above, a set weight will be chosen. Males at 135 pounds, females at 95 pounds. Proper squatting technique is crucial to avoid injury. The back should remain straight as the student bends at the knees. It is important to instruct the student to push up through the heel of the foot. Make sure that the student has a spotter present and that safety bars are in place on the squat rack. To calculate the one repetition max, Students will use the same equation as in the bench press. The sit and reach test measures hamstring flexibility. Students will have two to three attempts to reach as far forward as they can. For this test, you will need a sit and reach box or a meter stick and a bench. Without shoes, the student will place their feet along the back of the box. Sitting down with legs extended straight out, the student will take a deep breath in and on exhale reach as far forward as possible pushing the sliding piece to allow for measurement and holding for two seconds. If using a meter stick, another student will record where the middle finger touches. Once all students have completed the three stations, gather the class to complete the shuttle run or beep test. With cones or tape, mark in the open gym a 20 meter distance apart. Students will line up on the first line, running to the other side once they hear the beep. Instruct students to stay at the line until they hear the beep each time. As the test progresses, the beeps will be closer together or shorter in duration. Students have two chances before they are to stop. If they don't make two beeps in a row, they are instructed to leave the testing area, record the level in which they finished, and take their heart rate in beats per minute. Lastly, as a class, to test muscular endurance and core strength, a plank test will be administered. 
Instruct the class on proper plank form. Forearms on the ground, back and bum straight. Using a timer, have the class hold this position as long as they can, indicating the time in which the student has stopped holding the position. For a large class, this can be done by the students in partners, where one partner holds the timer while the other performs the test. As a concluding activity, the class should complete a cool down in which the students may choose to walk around the gym and perform static stretching. Fitness testing provides a baseline for all students to monitor their progress throughout a physical education course.